Now, one of the oldest names in German aviation could soon be snapped up by one of the biggest. Lufthansa has set its sights on Condor. It's a 65-year-old airline that helped pioneer commercial air travel in Germany. It was charter travel before it became uh, more scheduled. The CEO says his company has made an offer for Condor, which is owned by Thomas Cook. He added that Lufthansa might also look to buy other airlines from Thomas Cook in Britain and Scandinavia. Shares in Thomas Cook rose more than 10% on the news. They've been looking to offload their airlines for some time. Joining from Los Angeles, Brian Summers is the senior aviation business editor at Skift. Why would Lufthansa want Condor? And would there be regulatory issues, bearing in mind the size of the Lufthansa group? Well, Richard, I think the answer is pretty simple. Uh, Condor is the second largest airline in Germany. Lufthansa is, of course, the first uh, by far. And wouldn't it be great uh, for Lufthansa to eliminate uh, this competitor here? Uh, you know, it's possible Lufthansa has also been trying to grow its uh, Eurowings long-haul low-cost division, so Lufthansa could send some of the aircraft there. Um, but Essentially, I think that the name of the game here is uh, eliminate a, a competitor. Lufthansa did this uh, a couple of years ago when it bought some of Air Berlin's assets. So the airline was able to grow, but of course, Air Berlin doesn't exist anymore. That was good for uh, Lufthansa Group. The right. interesting thing is you talk about um, competitive behavior and antitrust here. Uh, Lufthansa has some experience with this, right? Because they were able to get the deal through uh, for Air Berlin's assets. Mm -hmm. They didn't get exactly what they wanted, but they got it through. And I think there's a lot of smart people out here that say, look, Lufthansa Group knows what it needs to do to get these assets but from Condor. It'll probably have to divest some slots. Um, but it could uh, get the deal through. But uh, do we now look upon Europe, obviously, as a single European market in, dis in thinking about these things with the Commission? Because if you just look on a German basis, uh, Lufthansa that owns Condor essentially is a monopoly. Yeah, you know, it looks pretty bad if you look on just a German basis. But, you know, Europe, I think, in this day and age, is a single market, right? I mean, you mm -hmm. have airlines like EasyJet and Ryanair expanding in Germany. Um, you have other airlines from Eastern Europe coming into Western Europe. It's, 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 it's one giant market here, and that makes it a lot different than it was 30 or 40 or 50 years ago. It, the, the consolidation in Europe, I mean, there are, the, besides EasyJet and Ryanair, which are two behemoths in their own right, you do co everything else coalesces around uh, IAG, um, the Air France KLM group and Lufthansa group. The Air France KLM group is in a mess. Do you see any clarity yet? Uh, there's no clarity yet, but if there's one thing that Karsten Spohr, the CEO of Lufthansa Group, says, it's that uh, consolidation in Europe is not done yet. I mean, we talk right. about the five big groups in Europe. Uh, they have huge market share, but it's nowhere near the same as in the United States. Brian, just want to run one thing past you. Boeing's down very sharply, uh, but the reason it is down very sharply is because there was an analyst report that says passengers, they believe... Passengers may refuse to fly. There's the uh, refly, the 737 MAX 8, when it starts flying again. Now, if that's true, or if it turns out to be the case, then that's really very serious for Boeing, hence the stock is off very sharply. Can you see a situation where the, the, there is such a stench over the 737 MAX 8 that it becomes either has to be rebranded, changed, or something major has to happen. No, you're absolutely right, uh, Richard. Uh, Barclays analysts came out to today and they said that they surveyed 1,700 consumers and 52% of right. them were not going to fly the MAX for a year or more. Uh, you talk to uh, U.S. airline executives and they say there will absolutely a, be a book away phenomenon in the next year or so. People will be skittish about the MAX. Uh, airlines and Boeing seem to be betting that travelers will have uh, short memories and that after a while they're still going to fly the MAX. They're not going to care anymore. I'm not sure that's true, uh, Richard. It's possible Boeing will have to do something uh, more drastic, maybe even rebrand the plane. Uh, but I think uh, we'll just kind of have to see how it shakes out. 